We are going to walk through creating a standard Angular application in an NX workspace using the official null Angular plugin and then adding Ionic to that application manually rather than just using a plugin to create an Ionic application directly with everything pre-configured. Now this might seem like an odd thing to do considering there is a fantastic NX plugin for doing just this. The NXtend Ionic Angular plugin will generate an Ionic Angular application in an NX workspace for you. However, this plugin, like many community maintained open source packages, primarily relies on the hard work of a small amount of people volunteering their time. So unlike the official NX plugins that have the paid engineering time of a big company behind them, it's just not realistic or fair to expect community plugins to always be maintained at the pace you might need. So it's not a great idea to entirely rely on community plugins for critical parts of our development process. And I don't want you to get me wrong about this, you absolutely should use community plugins. The NX10 plugin in particular for creating Ionic applications is great. And Devon continues to put an incredible amount of work into it. But you should probably think of it as a nice to have that makes your life easier. If you find yourself in a situation where this plugin or others don't work for you, it's important that you are still able to configure things manually. This is going to cause a lot less stress for you and a lot less stress for the open source maintainers who don't have people angrily creating issues. So manually setting up Ionic in an NX workspace is a non-trivial amount of work, so you'll certainly see why you would want to use the plugin. But doing this manual work will also help us learn some important concepts about working with an NX workspace. Uh, Pre-existing plugins save us an incredible amount of work, but it can also make things seem a bit magical and like you don't really know what's going on under the hood. So let's jump into it. Let's start all the way at the beginning by creating a new empty workspace with no plugins installed. So we're going to do that by running npx create NX workspace. I'm just going to call this my org. You can call it whatever you like. And we're going to use the empty apps layout. We could use the Angular starter, but again, we want to see how everything works. So we're going to start from scratch with nothing pre-configured, no plugins installed. Okay, so now we have our empty NX workspace with not much going on, just the basic structure. You can see our apps and libs folder is currently empty. And if we check the dependencies, we can see there isn't really much NX stuff going on here. We just have the CLI packages and the only plugin we have installed from Narwhal at the moment is the uh, just the generic workspace plugin. So now we are going to create our Angular app. So we'll need to install the Angular plugin, which we can do with npm install dash d Narwhal Angular. And it is also possible to set up an Angular application without using a plugin. But this plugin is an official plugin maintained by the NX team. So it's pretty safe to rely on this working whenever we need it. So with the plugin installed, we can now generate an application and you can do this using the NX console extension or you can run the command manually. But if you aren't already very familiar with the commands, there's a lot to remember. So the NX console extension is a great way to do this. So we can just search for application. We can see the Narwhal Angular plugin here and the application generator. And what this will allow us to do is basically just use this interface to fill in the options that we want to use with the generator. So I'm going to call this app mobile. We can use the uh, SCSS for the styling. You could specify whether you want to use inline styles and templates if you wanted. But I'm pretty much just going to leave everything uh, as the defaults here. Uh, we'll use the standalone configuration. That's not really important, but that just allows us to provide some NX configuration for this project from within the project itself. And you can see right now it's doing this dry run of the command for the generator. So this is the actual uh, command that is being run. So we can just uh, use that command directly or we can use this interface and just click run. And now that's going to start generating the application for us. Okay, so now we have our Angular app generated. You can see it in here. But now we need to actually add Ionic to this application. So the first thing we're going to do is install the Ionic Angular package. So we'll install uh, Ionic Angular latest. And this is going to add that to our dependencies for the workspace. And if we look in here now, you can also see 
all of the dependencies for the Angular application have also been installed in here now. So in addition to those few narwhal things we had in the beginning, we also have all of our Angular stuff now. So the Ionic Angular package, like many libraries designed for Angular, has an ng-add command for setting everything up for you. And it's actually possible to view this with nx by running nx list and then the package name. And we can see that the Ionic Angular package does have this ng-add generator. So you can actually use these generators in nx by manually running nxg Ionic Angular ng-add, but this doesn't actually work uh, for this Ionic package. However, we can still use this ng-add generator to give us a clue about what we will need to manually set up. So for example, I can view the source code for the Ionic generator here. So this is what is actually being used when the ng-add command is run. And we can use this as a general guide for what we need to do. And this is also important because the steps for incorporating libraries are going to change over time. So it's important to understand how to keep up with those changes and have something like this that we can reference and come back to. So using that as a guide, I know that I need to install the Ionic Angular toolkit. So I'll do that now. And I'm also going to need to add uh, the Ionic module to our root module. So in our imports here, I will just add Ionic module dot for root. And IntelliSense is failing me a bit here. We'll just try to manually import that one. And Ionic requires that we import some of its own styles. And we can do that in the global.scss file. So Angular actually uses styles.scss uh, by default, which we could use, but I guess by convention, Ionic uses global.scss. So we'll stick with that. And we'll just paste in everything that Ionic needs in that file. And Ionic also has the theme folder under source. So we'll add theme and within that, there is a variables.scss file, and we can just paste in all of the default values for that. Now we're also going to need to make some changes to the project.json file, which is like the angular.json file, because we've added in these new assets, which we need to include in the build. So we're just going to overwrite assets and styles with this. And this is just what is included in a normal uh, default Ionic application. You can see we're including the Ionicons here as well. And we're linking to our two new files that we created, the global.scss and variables.scss. So now we need to add Ionic's route reuse and preloading strategy to the module as well. So I'm just going to paste that in here. And you can see here we have the preload all modules preloading strategy and we're also providing the route reuse strategy from Ionic as well. And then in our template for the root component, we're going to need to make sure to use the Ion router outlet. And it's important that we use the Ion router outlet and not the default Angular router outlet. And let's also just delete this default NX component. So we've done everything we need now. So let's just quickly run NX serve mobile just to make sure that it works, but we won't actually be able to see anything because we don't have any pages created yet. So we're just going to get a blank page. The only thing our application is actually rendering is the router outlet. So it looks like it compiles successfully and I've just got it opened up here, but as I mentioned, it's just a blank page for now, but we're not getting any errors and we can see the router outlet there. So it all looks like it is working. So let's create some pages now. And again, we're going to use the official Angular plugin to do this. Now it's worth noting that I would typically create all of my pages in libraries instead of directly in the app when I'm working in an NX workspace. But I'm going to link to a separate video that talks about refactoring an app into libraries in NX uh, because I don't want to complicate this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the scam generator that Narwhal provides for us. So we're going to create a scam component, which stands for single component Angular module. So basically this just means it's going to create a home component and it's going to create a module for us as well that exports that, which is basically exactly what a normal Ionic page does. So we are going to call this component home. And again, you can just sort of scroll through here to set whatever options you want on this. I could change the change detection strategy to on push. 
Um, by default, this is going to create an inline NG module, which is fine. You can keep that if you want, but a more sort of typical Ionic approach is to have the module uh, separate. So if you want, you can untick that one and then we can just click the run button. And now we can see we have our new home component generated with all of its files, including the module as well. Now let's make this a little bit more Ionic-y by using some Ionic UI elements in the template here. And you can see it's complaining that it doesn't know what they are. So we're going to have to go to the module file and we'll just have to add the Ionic module as an import in here. And I don't know why IntelliSense is giving me a hard time. So I'll just manually import that one again. And now an Ionic page also typically has a uh, separate routing file. So we can create home routing dot module dot TS and paste that in here. And then we will just import that back into our main module. Now, the last thing that we should have to do is just set up a route for that home page in our main routes here. So we will just set up a path for home and we'll do load children to lazy load that. And we will import the home module. Then we need to add on the then once that module has loaded and we need to grab the actual home component module and we will add our redirect in for the default path. We will redirect that to home and IntelliSense still is failing me here. I'm not sure why that's happening, but it's making things a little bit more difficult. Um, and we'll use a path match full. So our application is still being served now. So if we bring this up, we should see what looks like a pretty normal Ionic application. The, uh, the title is actually a little bit uh, messed up there. It's because I used two toolbars instead of an ion title. So let me fix that up. And there we go. We have what looks like a normal sort of blank default Ionic application. So obviously that required a bit more work than either just creating an Ionic application with the Ionic CLI or using the NXTEN plugin to generate an Ionic application in the workspace for us. But it does help to understand what is actually going on under the hood. And as I mentioned at the start, it is helpful to know how this stuff works. So you aren't completely reliant on community plugins, but it is also just generally beneficial to have a deeper knowledge of what is going on in your code base. It's going to lead to a lot less situations where you need to reach out for help and Google things. So it's going to speed up your development and it's going to make you feel much more confident. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel and I will see you in the next video.